Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of uh, Chemistry and of course today we are going to continue our study of the alkynes. Okay, and today specifically we are going to look at the reactions that alkynes undergo. Okay, but before we do that, uh, let us see a question for, from the O3 Schools Jam CBT practice app. Okay, like uh, I told you, the app is all you need to succeed in an exam. If you want to succeed and not suck seeds, please jump on Play Store immediately. Search for the O3 School Jump app at its, as it is being displayed on your screen right now. Download it and activate it for sure success in your examination. You can look into our testimonies. In fact, the app has helped a lot of people, not only in passing their exam, but of course, in what? In getting every value for paying for the activation fee. So please, make sure you get the app activated. We'll talk about the app, what the app has later on. Let us see this question. It's a 2022 three question uh, number 17 it has been displayed on your screen right now it said alkynes undergo readily undergo addition reactions with which of the following a they say oxygen gas o2 b hydrogen gas h2 c chlorine gas cl2 d water h2o okay they say alkynes readily undergo what addition reaction with which of the following all right so we're going to come back to this question at the end of the class after we have seen the reaction that alkynes undergo and then we'll answer this question using the question search feature we'll search for that question and then we answer also from this application so the app has all the past question you need to succeed in your exam has all the past question from jam all right has lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus uh to make you what study effectively what's more is that what well, there's a question search feature you can search for question according to topic so you can just search for all kinds now questions on that kinds that have been said by jam come up for you to answer all right the app has, also has the utme mock challenge it's a weekly mock challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam for this year okay you compete with your mates in that challenge you win amazing prizes every saturday what is more is that you see your score released so as you see your score every saturday you can know what and test your progress okay and then it, it will build your confidence towards the main exam all right so you should you should not miss any of the mock exams okay please participate and what and study study assiduously all right study like you want you want it study like you want a good result and you will definitely get it all right so please do not forget to what to join us in this class okay let us quickly see uh reactions of our kinds reactions of alkynes okay so alkynes readily what undergo some type of reaction some addition reactions basically all right so we're going to see what the reactions that what that they undergo number one sort of such reaction that they undergo is one is hydrogenation reaction okay in this hydrogenation reaction all right it is what the addition of hydrogen okay so the addition of what of hydrogen okay so our kinds what undergo hydrogenation reaction whereby hydrogen what is being added and then what they it leads to the breaking of what one of the pi bonds in the alkyne leading to the formation of an alkene okay so let us see what happens in hydrogenation so if you have a simple alkyne like ethane that is c be bonded to what to see it reacts with what with hydrogen which is what h2 all right then it will lead to the formation you know in this alkyne there are three bonds having two pi bonds two pi bonds and what one sigma bond all right so this alkyne having two pi bonds and one sigma bond once it goes into a reaction an additional reaction with something like hydrogen what happens is that one of the pi bonds is what is broken down. Okay, so now I'm not going to what lead to the formation of what of an alkene C to what to what to C. All right, so we can now what complete. Sorry, complete the structure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so H H H H. So you see that what one bond is broken and then an alkene like what now a thing is what is formed all right it's as simple as abc all right now let's also see other reactions that what that uh our kinds undergo number two they also undergo a reaction we call what halogenation reaction all right they also what undergo what halogenation 
what reaction? That's an addition reaction, addition of what of an allogen. Okay, can add what allogens to what to alkynes, leading us to to the breaking of what of one of the pi bonds. Okay, one of the bonds what is broken. Let us see what happens. Number two, so number two, um, halogenation reaction. All right, so it, this is what addition of of an allogen. Okay, so the general formula for the reaction will be an what an alkyne like a simple alkyne a time reacting with what now with an allogen x2 okay what it gives us is very simple i'm going to have what and uh, uh, you are going to have what one of the bonds broken so now an alkene will be formed here all right c double wanted to c then one of the allogen will be on one carbon the other one will be what on the other what carbon. So say for example that this allogen, if X for example now is let's say bromine, if X is bromine, what you now have is what C, okay, uh, triple bonded to what to C, all right, then plus what now bromine, which is what now B arrow what two, then we are going to have what one of the bonds broken. I'm going to have C double bonded to C. Here will be what? B, R. Here will be what? B, R. Can complete your structure. One, two, three. We need one H here. One, two, three. We need what? One H here. All right. So, we can name that compound, right? So, what is this compound? This is what? One, comma, two, di, bromo, what? Is this ethane or ethene? Okay. It's be what? Ethene. One, two, di, bromo, eighteen. Okay, so this is what happens when what halogens, okay, react. So even if the, uh, for example, let's say for example it's not eighteen. Uh, uh, let's say it's a propene. Okay, let us use propene. Let us use propene, or let us even use butene. Okay, let's say for example it is butene we are using here. Okay, butene. Butene is what now? Uh, I'm going to have one, two, three, four. Okay, butene is what? Just put one in. One, two, three. Or let us even know we'll put this triple bond here. Okay, let us put the triple bond here. One, two, three. Okay, so if this is butane, okay, this, but this will be what now? One, two. From this side, it's what? One, two, but two, but two, one, but two, iron, or what? One, two, two butane. So it's still two butane, whether it go from left to right or from right to left. So if this reacts to the BR2, what will happen is very simple also. We are going to have here, all right, our butane, our, our two butane. Let us draw the structure. Now, one bond will be broken, remember? I'm going to have one, two, three, four. All right? From, but remember, we have to what, take note of where the triple bond is. So it's on the what? On the second carbon here. So one, two. One bond is already broken. So that is where the bond will now be. Okay? And also, our halogen will be located on what? On these two carbons, okay? That are having what? This bond. All right? So one bromine will be here. The other one will be here. It's as simple as ABC. Okay, so this compound will be what now? Let's go. Uh, double bond is very, very important. If I do for if what if, if I need me what a compound, all right? What the double bond is very, very important. So now I'm going to have what now? One, two. Okay. That is what now. The double bond is on what? It's on the second carbon from left to right. One, two. It's on the second carbon from left to right. So we can now one name. All right, so I'm going to have what now. Let's say we are naming from a left to right. From left to right, this will be one, this will be two, this will be three, this will be four. All right, so it will be what now? Two comma three di bromo. Is it what butene? Yes, butene. Okay, it's as simple. Sorry, but what now? But two in. But two in. Remember, this is not what an alkene. Okay, but two in. All right, so that is that for that. Let us continue a uh, reaction that what that alkynes undergo. Please, if you have not liked this video, make sure you do that immediately. Click on the like button. Liking the video will make other students easily find this video. Is that not wonderful? All right, so just see the effect of you just clicking on that like button. All right, so don't click on that like button immediately. If you have not subscribed to this channel, click on the red subscribe button. If you have done that before, wonderful. You don't need to do that again. And thirdly, do not forget to share this video. Share the video to your enemies. Share it to your loved ones, share it to your friends, share it to your WhatsApp group, share it to your to whoever. Okay, so now let us continue. Number three, another reaction that what that alkynes undergo is what is hydrohalogenation. Okay, you know what hydrogen hydrohalogenation is, right? That means hydrogen and what an halogen. Okay, so if an uh, a simple alkyne like ethane. 
Okay, let's say it's time to be bothered to what to see reacts. Okay, with what with an halogen. Okay, with an hydro what halogen. Okay, not to have what H what X. All right, I'm going to have this. Also, one of the bonds will be broken. Okay, so I'm going to have what now C to bother to C. Okay, then you're going to have what your X here. It's as simple as ABC. All right, so let us see. For example, if it is a time C to bother to C. One, one, complete, H, H, then plus H, X now. Okay, sorry, let's say uh, X is what, let's say bromine, or let's say simple chlorine, all right? Chlorine. All right, I'm going to have what now? H, C, L, all right? This will give us what now? C, the body to what to C, okay? I'm going to have what your C, L here. It's as simple as A, B, C. All right, so you can name what that compound, right? All right, now let us continue. Uh, that is the third reaction that what that alkynes undergo. Fourthly, we are going to look at hydration. Hydration. Hydration is what addition of water. Okay, addition of water. Number four, the fourth reaction I'm going to look at is is hydration. I will say that what hydration is the addition of water. Okay, addition of water. So uh, once uh, an alkyne, okay, we add what with water, or once water is added to what to an alkyne, what happens is that it leads to the formation of an alkene alcohol at the first instance. Okay, and if there's enough water, okay, that can be re-added to that what alkene alcohol, it will now give us an alkene alcohol. All right, so please take note of that. So what you are saying is. C to boil to C, okay, then plus what? Plus H2O, all right? So what it will give us at the first instance is what? You see, double bonded to what? To C, okay, and our what? Our OH. So this is what? An alkene, what? Alcohol, all right? But if there's enough water, if there's sufficient water to what? Take this reaction further, okay? We will now find what? Water will be added again, okay? So, but on this instance, it will now give us what now? It will give us what? An alkane alcohol. So, I'm going to have what? C, double water to what? To C. Since there's another, there's one OH here already before, okay? Here yeah, also there will be another what? OH, okay? So, the other OH will be on the second carbon, okay? So, this is what it will give us, all right? Now, take note of that. It's as simple as A, B, C. So let's continue. The last reaction, very important reaction we're going to look at is what a uh, polymerization reaction. Okay, when we did alkenes, we talked about what polymerization, what reaction, okay? And also alkynes undergo polymerization, what reaction? And uh, first of all, linear, okay, let us, let, us, let us put that down. The fifth reaction that alkynes undergo is what? Is polymerization reaction. Fifth reaction, number five. Polymerization reaction. Okay. Linear polymerization of ethane under suitable conditions. Linear polymerization of ethane. Ethane. Okay. Under suitable condition. Remember, I'm talking about linear now. Under suitable condition, gives us what? Poly acetylene okay acetylene all right linear polymerization of ethane gives us what polyacetylene take note of that all right the formula is of course this c2 h2 all right n okay so this is what the the general formula for what for this word reaction okay the repeating units you know that monomers now form polymers, okay? In polymerization reaction, monomers form polymers, okay? So linear polymerization of ethane under suitable condition gives us what? A polymer, polyacetylene, okay? With this general formula, it is a repeating unit. The repeating unit is like this. Is this CH, double bonded to what? To CH, okay? Then single bonded to what? To CH, then what double bonded to what? To CH again, all right? So these are what the repeating what unit for this what reaction. Okay, so for the formation of what polyacetylene, all right, linear poly, uh, polymerization of ethane gives us polyacetylene with this formula C2H2N. And the repeating units, the repeating units, repeating units, repeating units is what is this we don't look at. Okay, so now keep that on one side. Then, very importantly, it's also important that we note that what that ethane undergoes polymerization under what suitable conditions also another condition now all right 
Now, but this is a special condition. Okay, so a time undergoes what polymerization when it is when it is being passed through red hot iron tube, red hot iron tube at a temperature of eight hundred and seventy three Kelvin. Okay, so a time on passing through red hot iron tube at a temperature of what 873 kelvin gives us what benzene all right it leads to the formation of what of benzene not benzema mm -hmm. it's not benzema it leads to the formation of what of benzene okay so we have linear polymerization we have cyclic polymerization it is the cyclic polymerization of ethane that gives us what benzene all right so for the linear polymerization all right we have um, uh, something like the hc or nhc double to what to what to ch okay this is what happens for the linear polymerization we have c double to c then I have C. Then this again, we have for double bullet over to C, single bullet to C. And I have C again, double bullet to C, single bullet to C. Yeah, have C again, double bullet to C. Okay, so it continues like that. All right, so this is linear polymerization. All right, but for the cyclic polymerization of what? Of ethane, okay, like we saw. All right, I'm going to have what now? For linear polymerization, I'm going to have 3HC. Uh, the bubble to what to CH. Okay, for the uh, uh, cyclic polymerization, this is what the formula, and then we now have what the repeating, we now have what the what is what it is formed. What it is formed is what is benzene. It time what forms what benzene on when when that it time undergoes cyclic polymerization. When it time undergoes cyclic polymerization, we have what benzene. Okay, and this is the structure. This is the structure of benzene. For those of you that have not seen it before. Some of you will say, in my family, we don't used to see benzene, no. Okay? It's very easy to draw. All right? So, we have what, bond, uh, double bond here. We have double bond here. We have double bond here. Okay? So, you can see the side to draw it like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Then, the double bond will go. One will be here. One will be here. One will be... Okay? So, we put here. We jump here. We put here. We jump here. So, we put here again. Then we jump here. So you can either draw it like this or draw it like this. The way you put the double bond does not matter, but make sure that what that you leave one space, you leave one point, and we'll put double bond on the next. You leave one, put double double bond on the next, then you'll be very, very correct. So this is what benzene. So cyclic polymerization of ethane gives us what benzene. All right, so let us quickly go to the O3 school jump up and uh and see some questions. The 2023 question I'm talking about, they say alkynes undergo addition reaction with which of the following? Obviously, is what now? Hydrogen gas. Okay. Option B is very correct. Then also, they said which of the following hydrocarbon will not undergo polymerization reaction? Okay. Which of the following hydrocarbon will not undergo polymerization reaction? So by now, you already know that what? That alkanes, alkanes, do not what undergo polymerization reaction. So since an alkane will not undergo polymerization reaction, so any option there that has alkane will be what our right answer. So A says C for H8, all right, that's not an alkane. C3H4 is not an alkane. C3H6 is not an alkane. D C for H10. That's what butane. C for H10 is butane, which is what an alkane. So for that reason, all right. It will be what our most correct answer. So D is the answer there. All right. So please, there are so many other questions on what on this on the application. Make sure you download the application. Make sure you activate. Pay for this. Pay for the activation. Just a simple or token. Okay, a little token you are paying. Say thank you. All right, Master T, our great commander for all you have been doing. So please activate the application for your own good and what we'll start practicing assiduously towards your what your exam preparation. Start preparation very early so that what you can what get what a grasp of a whole lot of concepts before your main exam. All right. So to the next episode, we'll talk about tests for what for triple bond. See you there.